Fortnite Chapter 6 is officially coming tomorrow and we'll have new meta, new POIs, new weapons, and all new locations. With this new season launching, there are many things that you'll need to know. With that being said, let's dive in. Starting off with the meta, these new weapons will have hitscan, which means that there will be no bullet drop at all. The new Chapter 6 AR is hitscan active, and the thing looks insanely broken just by the looks of it. When we focus in on the trailer, we notice that there's this P90 and the shotgun. First of all, we're going to get started with the P90. The P90 looks like it's overpowered. Every SMG gun at the start of a season is usually buffed and is really helpful. I mean, controller players, just be ready. Spray into boxes. This will really help out during the season. Let's carry on to the shotgun. There will be a completely new one coming into the game tomorrow, and we have no idea how much damage it will do or how fast the fire rate will be. So be ready for that and start practicing as soon as you get on. Now for competitive scene players, the Kinetic Blade is finally returning, and it was the best thing to ever happen. I mean, rotation was so easy, and this recharges, so there will be infinite amount of times that we can rotate really fast. Also, if anybody did notice, there was a pistol that was shown in the trailer, which I don't think will matter too much. If you are watching this right now, and the season has dropped, I recommend you going to Fortnite GG, look it up on Safari or any website, and it will tell you all chest locations, location names for like POIs and stuff, and it's really helpful. You can figure out your rank spot, your cash cup spot. By the way, this season, I think I overheard that solo victory cups won't be a thing anymore. It will just be solo cash cups, so be ready for that, and it's time to lock in. We have gotten some insane news in the past hour. Air sprites can be thrown to create an updraft and wind. Water sprites can be thrown to create a healing fountain, and earth sprites will consume items you feed them in exchange for a reward. Wow. Like we saw in the trailer, there were these new masks and boons. Um, I think these will be really similar to medallions. These masks have like certain abilities, so yeah, they will be really similar. Um, the fire boon reloads weapons faster. The void boon eliminating players reveals other players nearby. The wind boon um, makes you run faster while holding a pickaxe. And the water boon grants um, health and shields while swimming to yourself and your teammates. All the main guns have been shown off, and there are some really good looking ones and some really bad looking ones. The shotgun on the bottom right that has two holes, or barrels, I don't know what you call that, um, usually those type of guns are awful, so I'm probably not going to pick that up, but the rest of them look good. There's um, two ARs, one SMG, kind of like a P90, and then the shotgun. The map has officially been released. And I think this might be my favorite looking map. There are so many locations to choose from, but some people might think that it's a little big. I mean, honestly, I kind of think that there's a lot of major locations, and I think that this will be the best competitive season. Now for the most exciting thing that this season is going to have is Simple Edit. It has been highly anticipated throughout the years and is finally coming to the game. Simple edit is a new toggle and settings for one button building edits. It auto executes based on your aim for your edit and no tile selection will be needed. The benefits are easier editing for new beginners and new players, but fewer edit options for simplicity. I personally think I'm going to use this. Thank you for watching the video. I hope it helped prepare you for this new chapter, and I hope you guys really enjoy it. If you guys could use code stated in the Fortnite item shop, it would really help me and support me a lot. Thank you.